welcome to Poets from the Neighborhood. My name is Louise Collin. And I'm David M. Harris. We hope you'll enjoy the poems we'll be reading today, poems written by your friends and neighbors. Who Seeks by S.R. Lee. Who seeks the new by moonlight, willingly accepts uncertainties, seeks a universe more vivid than daylight's rational scene. For the children we plead by Lydia Esmer. I'm pleading for children both near and far. I'm pleading for youngsters, whoever they are, those born to privilege whose whims are indulged their days are often in loneliness plunged. For when mom is not near, it's nanny who wipes away every tear. I'm pleading for children whose parents favor the ones who are handsome, charming, and clever, whose latter are praised and simply adored, the others forgotten and sadly ignored. I'm pleading for children removed from their parents by agents searching for suitable placements betrayed, alas, by a, sufficient, uh, by a deficient system that produces too many foster care victims. I'm pleading for children whose home is a tent. The sustenance comes from a sack that's been sent from places where leftovers are unfit for a pet and burgeoning in weight affects those overfed. I'm pleading for children whose life is all doom. Their tasks are not tailored for adults to assume. No playtime for these in the sun's brilliant light. From morning till night in a warehouse of gloom, chained to a loom, tiny fingers, not carpets, the rich will consume. I'm pleading for children who live in a city where life is deemed cheap and annoyed without pity. A summer backyard where siblings are playing in a flash turns to horror, the scene of a slaying. An innocent child hops catching with brother falls dead from a bullet that's meant for another. I'm pleading for children classified missing from parking lots, playgrounds, or merely gone visiting. Stalkers with lures in their milieu abound. While some kids return, most are dead when they're found. I'm pleading for children like merchandise sold to lucrative markets all over the world. To captives enslaved throughout day and night, their bodies are ravished with no end in sight. Forgive us, we have failed you, God's kids in our keep. Aware of your anguish, how long can we sleep? May we champion your cause as high as the heavens and as far as the sea is deep. Children of sorrow, if you inherit tomorrow, what gifts will you bring to life's table? What song will you sing when no one is listening? Will you soar to surmount your childhood strife and be able to embark on a new beginning? Will your rage find release like a helium globe offered to windy skies sailing out of sight? Will you learn to see goodness in every being and become a bearer of light? May you discover how beautiful life can be, find fulfillment in meaningful ways that prompt you to say with conviction, it's really great to be me. May nurturing love be your portion, encircled by family and friends, and enjoyment pursuing what's wholesome until your journey shall end. O oh Lord of all children, whose father you are, when your little ones wish on some bright distant star, regard with compassion their pitiful pleas, and remember your son told us, your kingdom is peopled with souls such as these. Autumn by Louise Collin. There is a quietness in autumn, a waiting, a settling into sleep. The still air folds sunshine into silence. With age-drawn colors waiting under its dying glory, autumn genuflects to winter, hiding mysteries underground. Grandson on the farm by Grandma. S.R. Lee. 
Quicksilver flashing in little sports shoes toward the barn with its tractor, its hay bales, its tools. Small boy disappearing behind a tall door where grandpa is waiting with tool using lure. So what if the tall grass will get his shoes wet? He's finished his breakfast. He's ready to jet right on down to the garden or fields or the cart where he can help grandpa how fast as a dart be off to see horses or rocks in the creek. Oh, grandma, run fast or you'll play hide and seek. But what he loves best is real work on the farm with his grandpa to help and to keep him from harm. Humanity by Viraja R. from her book, Joy of Being. Without fire shines no pure gold. Without pain beats no loving heart. Without faith rejoices no true soul. Without God spared no humanity. The Quest by Viraja R. from her book, Joy of Being. Aren't we mere travelers? just passing by? Why? Oh, why? More than worry, that we carry more than worry when surely we are not here to stay. Travel where and why we search and we search, find trust, friends, family, and life. But alas, it's time again to travel. Thank you for watching Poets from the Neighborhood. We hope you'll join us again soon.